Hello everyone. There is a story of a senior devil having a conversation with a junior devil. They were discussing the best way to tempt Christians to walk away from their faith and bring more people to hell. The junior devil explained his strategy to the senior one. He said, "Let us devise a plan to convince them that there is no god." "No," said the senior devil. That will not work. If they start reading the Bible and take a look beyond the earth, they will know that God exists. Well, let us then convince them that there is no devil, the junior devil suggested. That's more difficult to do, replied the senior devil. If only they take a look at their own neighborhood, they will know that there is not just one devil, but many around them. Here is the best plan the senior devil said We don't have to convince them that there is no god nor tell them that there is no devil Let us just tell them take your time there is no hurry Let us just tell them take your time there is no hurry Friends Last week the gospel was about a man who requested Jesus to intervene in a dispute between him and his brother over the division of their inherited property. But Jesus declined to serve as an advocate and judge. Instead, he merely told a story about a rich farmer who stored up his harvest for himself only to have God to tell him that he would not be alive to enjoy what he had stored up. Jesus used the story to warn his followers that the people who are busy accumulating worldly possessions for themselves with no concern whatsoever for what matters to God and others or busy doing everything except what God requires of them will meet the same fate as the rich farmer friends in today's gospel Jesus told two short stories to emphasize the importance of self preparedness for such an eventuality One is the parable of the watchful servants. According to the story, a master had gone to a wedding banquet and his servants were waiting up for him even though he was delayed. In those days, doors were often bolted from the inside, especially at night, to keep out robbers and troublemakers. Servants were expected to be dressed and ready with lighted lamps for their master's return, no matter when he returned. Jesus used this ancient custom as an example to teach his followers. He said, "Gird your loins and light your lamps and be like servants who await their master's return from a wedding, ready to open immediately when he comes and knocks. Blessed are those servants whom the master finds vigilant on his arrival." Friends, what does gird your loins mean? Back in the 1st century, people wore a piece of loin cloth, a long flowing tunic or robe, tied around the waist with a belt or girdle. The people would tuck the long flows of the robe under the belt when they went to perform hard labor or went to fight. So, gird your loins means get ready for action or prepare for hard work. Jesus told his followers this story to illustrate the necessity of being prepared to open the door at once when the master of the house knocks and asks his servants to let him in. If the servants refused to answer the door or delayed, they could expect a rebuke or punishment from the master. On the contrary, Jesus said, if the master found his servants watchful even in the middle of the night when everyone was asleep, and were ready to serve him then the master himself would put on his servants clothes seat his servants at his own table and to their astonishment would serve them jesus then added another story it was the story of the house owner who was asleep and unprepared for the thieves intrusion he would have protected his house from breaking if he knew the hour when the thief would come friends Jesus further admonished his followers you must be prepared for at an hour you do not expect the son of man will come 
who is the son of man Jesus was referring to. People call Jesus Rabbi, Lord, Master, Son of God, but no one called Jesus Son of Man. But only Jesus was referring to himself as the Son of Man. Why did Jesus say that he is the Son of Man? On the face of it, the Son of Man implies Jesus' humanity. He was born of a woman like us. However, Jesus is not just a human figure, but an exalted figure. He existed as God's eternal Son before creation, but came down and lived among us as the perfect human being. Then your question arises, if Jesus was the Son of Man and he was already there, why did Jesus say that Son of Man will come? Here Jesus was talking about his second coming, or his return to earth after his death and ascension to heaven. His first coming was to preach the gospel of the kingdom and pay the penalty for mankind's sin. The Son of Man, that is Jesus, came first to save us, but he will come the second time to judge us at the time of our death and at the end of the world. However, he did not say when and how he would come. That's why Jesus called on his disciples to be always prepared. Friends, we can learn two lessons here. 1. Complacency is one of the enemies of our spiritual progress, and it can be a serious temptation. When we are complacent, we are prone to sin, to worldly living and thinking, and prone to be ensnared by the devil. We are tempted to live a life as if there is no God, no life after death, and no judgment. We are tempted to gather as many material possessions for ourselves as we can, oblivious of the needs of others. We are tempted to act as if there is plenty of time to prepare for the return of Jesus. Hence, regardless of how long we have been Christians, we should guard against complacency in our faith and avoid falling into temptation. Let us then watch and pray because our spirit may be strong and willing, but our flesh is weak. 2. For all our care and precautions, there is absolutely no way we can know when and how Jesus, the Son of Man, will come to call us to Himself. But we have the promise from our Saviour that one day He will be coming back for us, either like the Master returning from a wedding banquet or like the thief in the middle of the night, when we least expect him. Therefore, let us always be alert, ready and prepared. Amen. God bless you.